Hello, guys. So we listen to some music. I'm joined here by my office manager that insists on being on camera, of course. Wait, you can't even see her. There she is. Urgh. Getting all comfy in my lap. I think she just pressed the button. Yeah, you thought I was Grava streaming because I was talking in chat. Joke's on you, it's actually me! For the uninitiated, I'm not sure how many of you there might be in there at this point. Um, I am Zentai on the forums, one of the designers on Grim Dawn, and today I will be giving you your first look into the Forgotten Gods content that is coming your way just later this year. The 12-piece Defiler set, that'll be something. Came here for Grim Dawn, stayed for the cat. What about Spellbreaker needs buffs? They're doing fine. Okay, I, I misread that question for a second there. I was like, Spellbreakers need buffs? I don't really think that's true. Later this particular year. Well, I was going to say quarter, which is still on, on track. We are actually about to push another test build to the playtesting group that's going to introduce almost all of the content that's in the game, um, with the exception of the final dungeon, which we're still working on. Because, you know, final boss is going to take some time. Um, and some of you here, I imagine, might have applied to be part of our playtesting group, and you might be wondering when you'll be getting that. So I'll tell you that the list has been decided. We have our lucky few selected that will be joining the Praetorians pretty soon here, and uh, we'll be announcing that, or we'll be sending out your invitations pretty soon. Um, as soon as that build out I just mentioned goes out, We'll be adding more Praetorians to the testing group, and you guys will be the first in the world to see most of the Forgotten Gods content. Is it too late to join the playtester group? I'm afraid so. If you didn't apply already, then we are all set. Do I have a number of folks that applied? Um, I think it was over 100, which is more than I expected, honestly. And of those 100, we selected a lucky 12. You didn't apply because you didn't want to be spoiled. That's fair. It's not for everybody. Soon as in a few months, weeks, man, we need details. Um, if you're talking about the, the next build, I, I really hope it's going to go up tonight, which means I might send those invites out tonight. We'll see. Some of you might be getting a three-day weekend, so, you know, it might be a good time to check out that content. Will there be a roguelike dungeon or two in Forgotten Gods? Um, we are not actually adding a new Forgotten or new roguelike dungeon because the Shattered Realm is effectively going to be the new roguelike dungeon of sorts. You don't think you made it and you don't shitpost enough on the forums. Yeah, shitposting is definitely the number one credential we're looking for. You know, it's a minor little thing, but is it possible to add random map rotations or shattering realms to maximize visual diversity? Um, not sure what you mean by random map rotation. I mean, there's there's a ton of maps in the endless or the shattered realm dungeon. What about super bosses? There are two. The playtesters have already tried one of them, and they will encounter the next one soon enough. It's not available yet. Still working on the details. Are we just going to the Shadow Realm, or, s or we see some campaign? So today I'm actually going to show you some of the campaign. I'm not going to do any quests, and I'm not going to go very far, but I will show you some of the first areas you will be seeing. So, spoiler alert! If you don't want anything at all spoiled about what's coming up in the expansion in terms of content, now would be the time to stop watching, because we're going to go out there soon.
Oh, you're talking about rotating the map literally physically. I mean, that's something we could do by making more versions of the same maps, but I'm not sure that's really something we'd want to do. I think I'd rather just make more maps at that point. Is it is the super boss actually super and like Ravager and Mog? They're too easy. Well, congratulations! You're part one of like the few people in the world that have killed those bosses. I guess you're just that awesome. How does it feel to start with Nightmare in Hell and Ultimate, whatever? Uh, I mean, you guys. I think you guys are gonna love it. The starting on Ultimate difficulty at level one is a very interesting experience. What about lore? What about lore? I think this expansion is absolutely packed with lore. We've written a ton of lore notes. There's one right there. Um, another one. A bunch of lore notes, even just in this first area alone. I think something like 47 lore notes are in this expansion. That's more than Ashes of Malmuth had. And Ashes of Malmuth, in terms of story content, is just a little bigger. I think last I, I did the math, um, Forgotten Gods, in terms of the world size, not counting the endless dungeon stuff, the Shattered Realm, is about 76% of what Ashes of Malmuth turned out to be. Do you need phones for this update? Um, I think not. We'll, uh, we'll keep it phone free, at least for now. Am I playing a solid build? I wouldn't say I'm playing a solid build since this character is cheated in, so I can show you everything that needs to be seen. So I have way more skill points than I should, and my devotion screen is ridiculous. As you can see, I have 75 skill po er, devotion points right now. Are the ways to get devotion points different because you can start an ultimate at level 1? They're not different, you'll still be going through shrines. However, we're adding more shrines to the world, so you can play on ultimate difficulty and get every single devotion point you need with one playthrough. Will I be buffing the Chaos Abomination proc in FG? I don't think so. I didn't grab a test character uploaded on forums or nexus. No? I can make my own characters? I could literally give myself any item in the game if I wanted to. Why would I need a, a random character to be given to me? Besides, I don't think Nexus is going to have many Oath Keepers on there. What happens if you start on Elite? Will there be more Shrines too? Yes, there will definitely be more Shrines as well on Elite difficulty. Yeah, or you can cheat and get 75 Devotion Points in zero playthroughs. Show the shield passives on new mastery. So we've got the first passive, it's a shield bonus, always active. And then we have two weapon pull skills, specifically four shields. Will there be a vitality cult constellation proc for Reapers? No, we're not adding a, con uh, a constellation like that. Any game performance changes, better optimization, etc. Um, we are adding the 64-bit client. I don't expect that to have a substantial effect on most people. I wouldn't say that there's much we can squeeze out of this engine at this point without making some pretty substantial changes. So I'm afraid if you're looking for a big boost in performance at this point, the best upgrade you can have is a, essentially a new CPU. <clears throat> Use a two-hand, their shoes are like so defensive. They're like so yesterday. Are there any plans for console release, specifically Switch? Um, we are working on an Xbox port. I can't promise you a Switch port anytime soon. Right now we're focused on the Xbox build. If there is a Switch port down the line, we'll be sure to tell you guys. I can't promise you any other ports at this time. Can you have a view of the new devotions? So which ones are you looking for? There's a few. I think nine. What is the difference between 32 and 64? It's about the memory allocation of your system. 32-bit um, is capped at, I think, um, 2.9 gigs. I forget exactly. And then 64-bit can use substantially more of your RAM. However, most applications don't need that much memory, so typically it doesn't make a substantial difference. Which is why I'm saying that I don't expect people to actually notice running 64-bit client to improve their performance. Is it really a retail build if it's just another flat damage source? Um, 
I, I see your angle. However, the main goal with that was to keep that feeling of having retaliation damage be your main source of damage, but also give you a little bit more um, motivation to actually use some other abilities. So you can you can still play that standard retaliation build that's been doable up till now and struggled against ranged characters. And now you can also add those abilities that have retaliation scaling to attack those ranged enemies and to do a little bit more DPS. You want to see the big thing on the far left? You're talking about Yugal. Any buff to Vanilla Devotions? Um, there's going to be a patch that coincides with the release of the expansion V1.1. It will have balance changes. I think there are some vanilla adjustments. I don't remember what's off of my head. What's the guy constellation near the frog? The toad? Oh, you're talking about Ulzad. Can I show you the nodes? Sure, I'll show you the nodes. Ulzad is a physical constellation. Oh, looks like I'm devo out of devotion points. Let's fix that. Looks like I'm up to 84! Will you be seeing any of the procs today? I guess if you ask nicely. That's the second node. Third node. Fourth node. Can I show the griffin? Yeah, I suppose. Fifth node. And... Oh, that's decree. The Griffin. Herian. Are there any plans to re-release a physical edition of Grim Dawn? You regret it so much that you didn't get back in the day, you'd love the possibility to get a collector's edition. Um, I guess that could be made possible someday, if the demand is popular enough. Fortunately, since we're not allied with a, a publisher or someone that handles uh, physical copies, we do have to take care of a lot of that ourselves. So the interest would have to be pretty high, not to mention the cost would have to be offset. So I can't promise you that will happen. It might happen. would be a great implement if you could do a bit more of dubbing in the game. Uh, so it's going to be the same in the expansion as it was before. The main characters will all have voiceovers. Some lesser characters will have intro lines. Um, to voice every single NPC line, I'm not sure is entirely worth it. <laughs> just, give, just give you my address, you can stop by to pick it up. Yeah, because all the physical copies are just sitting in my basement, right? Will this new healing effect increase that stat be added to existing constellation nodes gear rolls? Um, yes, it is being retroactively added to some items or that existed in the past. It has been retroactively added to some constellations as well. Do I watch Grim Dawn YouTubers? What's my favorite? Um, I've, I've watched videos from various YouTubers of Grim Dawn, particularly to see kind of what people are saying if they do a review. Um, I don't really watch Let's Plays in general. 
But uh, yeah, I can't really tell you that I have a favorite since I'm not really that into watching other people play games, even if it's the one I made. Is there an auto attack skill in the Oathkeeper Mastery? You could say that. It's called Re Righteous Fervor. Is there an ETA for when the new DLC comes out? Looking forward to it. Uh, it's coming this quarter, so quarter 1 to 19 means Mar January, February, and March. Sometime in that t time range. Increased healing impacts actual healing effects, like healing potions, um, healing skills, lifesteal. Is the size of FG same as Ashes of Malmoth? Um, so I mentioned this earlier, Forgotten Gods, in terms of the world content, is about 76% of what Ashes of Malmoth has. And on top of that, we have the Shattered Realm Endless Dungeon. So a lot of levels were added. What about the other game project you always ask me to hear about? Uh, when he's ready to talk about it, when we have a website up. Show one new set, please. Okay, how about this one? How are the applications for Praetorians so far? They're good, they're good. Praetorians are selected. How is the level scaling in the new areas on normal? Is it possible to clear all content and go to new stuff and still earn XP? Uh, yes. Um, the areas in Forgotten Gods scale from level 20 up to the level cap of that difficulty. So you can effectively go on, on any character you've been playing and check out the new content pretty much as soon as that character's cleared the Warden. Does increased healing affect energy? Um, since energy is in health, I would say no. Can you please show us how to access the new FG map from the map screen? Um, I mean, I'll show you the map. It's not very exciting because we're still working on it. In fact, one of the artists, as we speak, is actually working on doing the art for this area. But um, as you can see, you don't really walk there. It requires some eldritch tricks. Is a new dungeon similar to D3 Rifts, Greater Rifts, where you can pick up a GR level and attempt to clear it? It's similar. I wouldn't say it's exactly the same. Uh, you don't literally pick a number and you go to that number. There are waystones you can earn to skip to certain ones. Serious question, how does racial damage stacking work in Grim Dawn? Um, it's multiplicative with other bonuses. So if you have percent damage, that gets applied first, and then racial damage gets applied on top of that. Isn't Soldier plus Oath combo too strong? It looks extremely tanky. I mean, I imagine it's going to be a good combo for you guys. I wouldn't necessarily say it's OP. Southwest would have made more sense. Explain. Southwest actually is the worst direction to go because of camera. Um, if we actually headed straight Southwest, you would end up going against the, the default camera pretty much the whole time. Not to mention that this land is far away from the Aerolon Empire. So this is a whole different country, effectively, that you're traveling to. So you're going far to the east. Yeah, as I said, don't really pay too much attention to this because we're going to create an overlay of this actual area. Can you get some love for two-hand weapons? And what love do two-hand weapons need? I don't even have my ages out. There it is.
Cyclone and Grim Dawn? Who knew? Is the new game mode inside a world or is it access to the main menu as Crucible? It would be great to play mod characters in Crucible or in the new mod. Um, the new game mode, as I've actually shown you guys earlier in the stream, is right here. You know what? You need to do something first. Well, actually, nah, that's not the one I'm looking for. There it is. That's what I wanted. What am I doing taking staircases like a sucker? But yes, the Endless Dungeon, the Shattered Realm, is actually right here. And you can enter it from the from the um the forgotten gods quest area uh, what did I miss here well, you know Oath is very heavy favoring shield, but do you know how valuable two-handers are? I wouldn't say that Oathkeeper is heavily favoring shield. Most of his abilities, or her abilities, are viable of any weapon category. So, I would say it's perfectly fine to do a non-shield build with Oathkeeper. Does getting modifiers for the spin skill change his colors or no? Nope. Um, it does not currently. I don't know if we'll get that in. With the recent changes to Mage Slayer set CC, is it safe to assume you're going to allow more CC in Forgotten Gods? I don't think that will be r really be changing any more than is in the base game. Will FG have movement skills like Shadow Strike that work without clicking on target, just unending ground point? Let's see. Does this qualify? show you the loot filter? What do you mean? Oh, that little button? Man, you guys are chatty. Is there a story quest that leads you to the Shattered Realm? Um, it is blocked by some quest content, but you get access to it very quickly. Any plans of a GOTY edition with all the DLCs included? Uh, I think that's very likely down the line. What's the purple yellow square to the left of my health bar? This? This button? That button right there. You guys want to know what that button does? That button. I'm, I'm just making it absolutely clear. This is the button you want me to click and show you what it does. All right, I'm pressing, I am pressing the button. It is being pressed right now. As you guys noticed, there's a little bit of a surprise in the lower left of the UI here. We are overhauling the loot filters for Grim Dawn in patch 1.1. So this is a bit of a spoiler for what we're gonna show you on Monday's um, developer update, since not everybody's gonna be watching this stream. But there you go. The loot filter has been overhauled completely. You now have way more power in terms of what you want to see or not. Now I'm gonna get myself killed so I can get back into the campaign. Please don't try this at home. Oh my god, this character is too durable. There we go. <laughs> there. Clearly overpowered. Yeah, please don't try this on hardcore. Uh, okay, loot filter. I'm gonna, we're gonna go into detail on this on Monday's dev update. 
But let me give you a little quick rundown of exactly what this means. We've got four categories of loot filters you can use. The first one is pretty self-explanatory. It's the same feature you had before, except with a few key additions. You can, for example, uncheck rares, but leave monster frequency checked. And then the only rares you will see on the screen will be of the monster and frequent category. So if you are hunting out there for loot and you want only monster and frequent, that's your way to do it. Similarly for legendaries and epics, if you want to just see sets, this is it right there. And finally, if you want to have these active in various ways, you might want to even uncheck this for some reason, but you want to filter out some of the things over here and still collect every single epic and legendary that drops, this is what this checkbox is for. Yeah, Sino is saying we need to add $20 to the base game price because this is included in the base game. We are not putting this behind Forgotten Gods. With patch 1.1, every version of the game is going to have this feature, baseline. Whether you own Ashes, whether you own just Grim Dawn, you will have access to these awesome new loot filters. Order now and get it for three easy payments of $9.99. The next up category, types of items. If you're looking for a specific type of weapon and really don't want to see any more guns in the game, get rid of those guns. This category supersedes this one, so if you have commons unchecked, you're not going to see any one-hand melee commons. Similarly, these two columns supersede these two, and this is where it gets interesting. Since you can select what kind of damage types you're looking for, you can select to see your masteries or other masteries, and various other critical stats. Now the way these work is as long as an item fulfills at least one of these checks, it's going to show up on the ground. If it doesn't include at least one of these things, it's not even going to be shown. Loot filter separate DLC incoming. Totally. So that is your spoiler for today, I think it's a bit of one. Uh, we're going to talk more about this on Monday, as I said, so you guys got an early look. But yes, Loot Filter is coming in patch 1.1 for all versions of the game. Are these settings character bound, meaning they stay same for all characters or only for one? These are character specific settings. Example, you can see some stuff's filtered out already. One point one will be released before the expansion, it'll be released with the expansion. Can the pets be killed? Um, the Guardians of Empyrean are actually invincible. They also don't generate aggro, so you can't use them as, as tanks. Any way to add pick up crafting materials automatically? I believe there's a mod that does that. Uh, we are not officially going to add that feature though. Oh, no RS fever, yep, yep. Well, that's what happens when I die, because I never actually die in these games, obviously. I never have to turn my auras back on. Can you ask about upcoming nerfs of recently buffed game-breaking sets? You're highly interested in Deathmark. Um, well, Deathmark is a little too powerful after recent changes, so we are going to tone it back down a little bit. But don't worry, it's still going to be quite viable after our adjustments.
fix Alagas. Um, yes, yeah, so we did mess up the Alagas set a little bit with our change to, um, Star Pack. We are fixing that. You don't have to worry about that issue. What about the Nexon Ordus sets? Um, Nexon Ordus is very strong right now. We are making some changes to it to keep it strong, but Maybe a little weaker for non saboteur options. How about that? The whirlwind skill does not work with ranged weapons. <clears throat> Can I change the sound set for the guards? Those sound like enemy ghosts, a bit confusing. Um, I think at the least we're gonna make them make a little less noise, because they're really chatty. Anyway, we will introduce ways for us to put iron bits into our shirt stash. Um, not at this time. That is something we'd have to squeeze into that UI, and there's not a lot of room left. How do I throw a shield with Oathkeeper if the shield is not round? I don't know, you get creative. More 20 viewers. Oh, it's getting fun in here now. You're sure we can find a way to implement it in UI? Yes, but is it worth doing the mess that the UI would involve to do that? UI things are generally non trivial We got sued by the local Grobble unit. What is the green icon over enemies' heads? Um, wasn't paying attention to what you're referring to. Well, I just reached the first rift gate. Oh look, there's some Death's Vigil guys here. I wonder what they're doing here. Does percent healing effect increase the health converter from tax 2? Yes, it does. Whirlwind does cost energy. Um, this character does have a lot of energy regeneration, so it doesn't really take up a lot. Show you more? Wait, that's current entertainment asking. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep going. Can we just make an item that costs like 500k or something so we can put it in our stash? The problem is that the vendors buy back at like a 2% rate, so it's not quite that easy. There's something I could do potentially though, like do it through an NPC, where if you give them a particular item they'll give you money for it. I'll think about it. Will we update the loot in the Nemesis boxes? What's wrong with the Nemesis box loot? You need Ouroboric! Will we find him in Forgotten Gods? I don't know, will you? You'll have to find out. Can you get a Grim Dawn shirt? I'm afraid right now it's for devs only. You don't know if you've already talked about it or not, but what are the new factions and if 
yes, which. Um, I suggest you actually stop by the forum. There is a development update we posted right at the end of 2018 that goes into depth on some of the new ma uh, factions you'll be meeting in the expansion. Why am I not an ultimate? Because this character is cheated in and I don't want to just die on stream because I'm not paying attention to your questions. Or because I am paying attention to your questions. Oh look, there's all the little maggots. Eldritch Horrors, what about them? These Eldritch Horrors? Guys dying is one of my favorite things that one of the artists did. The Eldritch Armors, when they get killed, it's just awesome. Ad asking, add a new crafting materials to dismantle table and treasure trove tables. Don't want to have a repeat of first week of Ashes of Mammoth. Um, yes, those are already in the table. The skill tablet from IR Verkening works only with orbital projectors or any projectiles? Um, it would actually work with any projectiles, I think. I don't remember. Any chance of getting IR Verkening endgame sets with Mr. Zentai? I mean, there are some sets. I'm not gonna show them to you. If that's what you mean. <laughs> There. It's so dark running on here at night, you guys don't get to see all the cool shit in the back. Praise the sun! What about the Wild Blood set? Any changes coming to it? I don't think there's any major changes coming to it. Can we leap across those stairs? Like here? You're talking about like all the way across them. Um, I think if you had the- oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. You just have to be positioned right. Or get a higher level leap that has a longer range. You heard the Corvax relic is getting a skill change. Could I show it? Uh, what is the idea of that relic? Nope. Yes! Second try! We're not adding a Mythic Praetorian set, no. Does Eldritch Horrors faction refer only to the new Forgotten Gods enemies, or does it also include old Eldritch enemies? It is specific to the horrors you will encounter in the Corvin lands. The level cap is staying at 100, and the devotion cap is staying at 55. Now the skill itself looks like this. 
Where are some enemies? Do it again. Any closer release date for the people like to pre-order? I'm afraid I don't have a closer release date to offer you. It is still on track for this quarter. Why is there a white item in my inventory? You're talking about this sword? I think it's just what I was using to test something. It's probably just testing a uh, spin to win with a two-hander. Spin to one of a gun, that's not gonna work. What are we getting on Rift Stones? An aura. Oh man, this is a long one. There's a campaign plot point about choice between working the Order of Death Vigil and the Kaimans Chosen at Homestead. Will there ever be a Kaimans Initiate class? If so, will, will you be forbidden from becoming Kaimans Initiate plus Necro Double Class? Or will that Double Class not have the question put to them? Sorry about the softball question. Um, first off, the Oath Keeper is the last mastery we're adding. Unless, somehow, miraculously, we're going to make a third expansion. Um, but in terms of what a Kaimans Chosen would be, uh, they don't. They don't specifically have a Kaiman's initiate as a class. They would actually be inquisitors. They would be priests. They would be soldiers, demolitionists, even arcanists. What they really just despise is necromancers. Can I change the time and make it night? Yeah, I guess. Oops. Not in, tw in military time. Let's just do this. There. Who the hell sides of Kaiman these days? I don't know, I think Kaiman gets a pretty interesting inside view on certain things. Can you see Corvex constellation nodes? Okay, I'll show you in a sec. Now this is as far as I'm going to take you in this area, but I will show you one more area because I'm feeling nice. Just one more area. So those of you that are saying this looks like Time Quest, allow me to change your mind.
And we'll leave the new area spoiler right here. Scenic views from the Forgotten Gods expansion. Yeah, we're gonna tone down those spirits chatting. The quest for Frostheart? No, that, that, that item definitely doesn't exist. So yeah, a little preview. A little preview of new areas. Can't wait for more people to complain about environmental damage. Yeah, I bet. Where's the two hand spear? Uh, it's a halberd, and I'll show you. Are we getting a new crucible map later? Um, probably not. We'll, we'll think about it after release, whether we'll do it as a content update. Um, but we're not adding one with the expansion, no. Show you some illusions. Why would I show you illusions when I can just show you gear? Somebody mentioned some halberds. You mean these? Can't carry oh my god, this... There. Actually, one more. Which flavor of halberd would you like? The level cap is still 100, we're not increasing it with this expansion. How many shared realm errors are there? I think last time I said there was around 50. That number is still about 50. We ha we actually shifted focus since then to finishing the expansion content, or sorry, the, the campaign content. We might, however, add a few more before release. 50 is a lot though. Oh, and if you want to see the, the filter in action, here you go. I uncheck rare, and all these items still show up. However, if I uncheck monster and frequent, and off they go. Remember the empowered mythicals we were expecting when the x was announced? Oh, you're saying that there'll be a higher tier of gear? No, we're not doing that. Mythical is the last tier of gear you can expect. Light blue flavor? Okay. The Storm Halberd! Yeah, if you thought that previous character was cheated, this one is extra cheated. Uh, where can you buy the potions for ultimate difficulty? They're not potions, they're runes. And um, you can pick them up from a vendor in the Conclave of the Three. 
So as soon as you enter the Forgotten Gods content on a character that's unlocked ultimate difficulty, you can go buy those tokens and send them to your alts. Are we getting something similar to Diablo Greater Rifts, a place where you can push difficulty? Um, for you is the Shattered Realm, and I recommend you go to the forum to read all about it, because that's a lot to talk about. Equip them, huh? I already showed you this one in our last dev update. How much for that shirt I'm wearing? Um, just employment with Crate Entertainment. So how much does that cost? This one? The Vitality one? I mean, we, we don't have actual spear animations, if that's what you're hoping for. Although, if you pair it with, uh, with Smite, it'll actually look pretty cool, I would say. What is the helmet? Oh, I'm not going to show you that one yet. With the addition of more and more loot, are we running the risk of having too small of a chance to actually get certain pieces of loot? And that is a valid concern, which is why when we released Ashes of Malmuth, we actually increased the drop rate of rare items and unique items. And similarly with Forgotten God, since we are increasing the loot pool, we are increasing the drop rates again. Can I show Whirlwind with Spear? Fried eggs or scrambled eggs? I don't know, depending on the mood. Oh, you want to see the gloves? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I just picked those because they match the look. Oh, those gloves. The ones in my inventory. Yeah, we'll save those for another time. I don't think white pizza is a thing, thank you. Red pizza is the only proper pizza. Can you develop your level 100 characters further in expansion or are they simply museum pieces now? A um, few things. You're going to have access to mobility runes. You're going to have access to new gear. You're going to have access to a few more skill points and attribute points through quests. And of course there's the Shattered Realm, which is going to test your characters to their absolute limits. Have I released the names of the new class combos? We have! Um, again, that's a thing to stop by the forum for. We have a development update. Excuse me. <laughs> Announcing the Oathkeeper that goes into that. Can you put pineapple and pizza in Forgotten Gods? Maybe if you want to be a forgotten god. Tell you how we can transmute legendary items. You have so many sets missing one piece. Um, that's going to be happening at the Inventor. There's a short quest in the Forgotten Gods content that unlocks that mechanic for all Inventors in the game. Um, I, I suggest you just once again stop by the forum wh where we talked about that feature. But effectively you're going to have some materials that you need to throw in there. 
along with the item you want to transmute, and poof, new result. When's the expansion going live? Later this year, quarter one. So before April 1st. Is there any last boss in the Shattered Realm? Um, so the Shattered Realm doesn't end? No, there is no final boss. But there are some bosses that are exclusive to the Shattered Realm. How about that? Is there a way you could make HC turn a, a hardcore character turn softcore when they die instead of just being unplayable? Um, I'm personally of the opinion that if you are interested in playing hardcore, then you should go all the way with it. If, however, you want to resurrect your hardcore characters, I believe there are some utilities out there that will turn them softcore for you. Is Olgrin going to do anything fun in this expansion? Boy, just wait till he hear what rift he got himself pulled into this time! Are there any blueprints in Forgotten Gods? Of course. Are there new classes in the DLC? You must be new, because I've literally been playing this new class right now. Oh, look at all these NPCs from the expansion. What is the highest Shadow Realm level the testers have reached? I'm not sure that's a good metric because we've actually changed the balance several times. It actually used to be a little easier at the end game, kind of highest levels, and it's gotten pr much harder scaling at the higher numbers. So I'm not sure necessarily what they got to before is where they would get to now. Can we expect a reforging mechanic to be precise for creating the same item of a different seed? We're not planning to add a feature like that. Did anyone create do any voiceover work in this X pack? Um, the voiceover work is actually being done as we speak. The audio guys are are hiring actors and getting that done. However, none of us are doing VO, no. Thought about a way to convert items to mythical versions? No, we're not planning to do that. My favorite Malazan book? I am not familiar with that author. Bonemonger, is that a pet? It's not quite a pet, no. Are we going to see an NPC named after me? Never gotten shotgun by Zentaran before? Who is this Gaul? I don't know, some guy. Can I show special item from the Shattered Realm? I can. You guys have seen it, actually. We've teased it. We've t if you ever stopped by Reddit, you might have seen this little bit of a set. This set is exclusive to the Shattered Realm. Ah yes, the Corvin Constellation nodes. Will there be any major balance changes to skills? Um, I wouldn't say there's anything major, but we are going to do some skill balancing in uh, patch First node. Second node. What is that, a beetle, a scarab? It's a scarab.
Might be time to add and immediately give me 999 devotion points to command. Yeah, might be time for that. And the final node. I suppose I should show you what it does, shouldn't I? Wait? We don't wait around here. We gotta keep up! On proc. Oh, that's right, it's not attached to that skill. Duh. Now let's do it without me having 100% cooldown reduction. Because that looks ridiculous. There you go. What damage type is it? It's not a damage type. Can you get that ring? No, I'm afraid not. Spin to win with the eyes of Korvac. Spin to win. Now of 200% more spin. Yeah, this is the, the ultra mythical, legendary, ancient, enhanced tier of gear. It's a one in one trillion chance of dropping, but if you get one of these, you're set. Your internet died for two minutes. You believe you missed 30 spoilers as of now. Yeah, you think that's an, that's enough uh, offensive ability? I think I got a little roll, yeah. Um... There's actually a lot of interesting little secrets that we've thrown into Forgotten Gods that I really look forward to you guys discovering. I had some fun with that. Did I talk about the mobility runes yet? Did you get that info right? Um, yeah, I mean, we've, we've talked about them quite extensively. There's one on my, on my medal here. For example. Um, I have Reckoning scales with your run speed, so it wouldn't have its own movement speed modifiers. When you beat the expansion, does the name just become Gods? No, I think the name will still be very much appropriate. Will there be an easier way to obtain blueprints in Forgotten Gods? Um, I don't think it'll particularly change, no. It's great working on games besides Grim Dawn. Yes, we are working on another project that Midira is not quite ready to announce in full yet. Are there any secrets you've missed that are out there still? Uh, I think you guys found all the big ones. I don't know about, um, like, all the little secrets that we have all over the place. Cat, the, the manager wants back.
Please show the nemesis, if not, maybe show one of the bosses. Absolutely not. I will not be spoiling things like that to you guys. I'll save that for you to discover on your own. Why isn't my loading screen changing? Uh, that's because it's randomized. Um, all three loading screens are randomly selected. Hi, you love Grimdon. Thanks for making the best ARPG out there. Well, I'm glad you think so. Any career openings? I'm afraid not right now. Give you a letter of the super boss's name? Okay, it starts with a C. Will there ever be a set named after Oleron? Probably not. Maybe in GD2. A lightning version of the Leap Rune? I believe there is one, yes. No, we don't have any openings in the mobile division. Is my plat cat playing now? Yeah, she's in charge. Clearly in charge. I mean, who's sitting on top of who here? I mean, this is why you guys came here, right? Like, you, you guys came here for these spoilers. After Forgotten Gods is released, will we have told everything that we wanted to about Grimdon lore-wise? Uh, and the rest for Grimdon too, of course. Uh, yeah, I suppose I would say that the big things that I wanted to bring up in-game kind of get resolved in Forgotten Gods. Of course, a lot of questions get left unanswered, and some of new questions get asked, including some that we created in Ashes of Malmuth, but those would be questions that have to be answered if we did a, a sequel. Would you sell Grimdon t-shirts in the future? You mean, why not? Uh, really, it's the biggest hurdle is honestly logistics. It's just someone having the time to handle it. and. Uh, the return on merchandise like that actually isn't very high, so we, it would, we wouldn't exactly be able to justify, say, hiring another person just to handle that sort of stuff. At least not yet. A GD novel? I would love to write a GD novel, I just don't know when I'd do it. Uh, 2019 Crane Entertainment Focus? Well, it's going to be to finish our other project, it's going to release an expansion, it's going to be post-release support for that expansion, and we'll see what else. Can I set myself invisible and have Lokar fight McDragon? I think McDragon would win just out of sheer health. How does the, for the enemy scaling work if you create a new character after using a mirror to unlock ultimate difficulty? Um, they start at level 1. It's much harder, but yeah, you can play from level 1. The 64-bit version is coming of build 1.1, which is the patch we're introducing when the expansion comes out. GD movie, that would be something. When you start at once on ultimate, altars are kind of with normal and elite difficulty. Are you saying that you're going to get devotion points from normal and elite? Because that's not the case. There will be enough shrines on Elite for you to get all 55 points, however. Do we have a, a ceiling set for sales that if we reached, would we consider another expansion? Yeah, I mean, we have numbers in mind. We don't realistically expect to meet that number because sales do diminish with every expansion, which is just a natural course of event. Uh, Nemesis monsters get lower level scaling where they still start at 40. Nemesis monster scaling is exactly the same as it is in the base game, whether you skip difficulties or not. If you skip difficulties, you're not going to start um, 
uh, at nemesis status with the, your, the, the enemy factions, so you don't really have to worry about that. How effective is Shattered Realm for loot farming compared to Crucible? I think that'll be up to the community to decide. Sales increase for Grimdawn every time Blizzard opened its mouth about Diablo, so you never know. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. I, I can't complain about BlizzCon, I guess. Will Forgotten Gods add new waves to the Crucible? No. But it will add Forgotten Gods enemies to the Crucible, starting with wave, I think, 100. I heard in Grim Dawn Toon you'll be able to spend a thousand hours customizing your character's face. Thousands of hours of content in the character creation alone. Would I ever play Grim Dawn on con Oh, would we ever bring Grim Dawn on console? Um, we are working on an Xbox port, so yes. Will higher level boss chunks in the Shadow Realm contain multiple bosses? Absolutely. There will be a lot of bosses towards the end. Complete edition and FG release. I don't think it would be with the release, but certainly later. Yes, I too can't wait to customize my character's face and then put a helmet on it. Any chance of adding community design sets after Forgotten God's release? I don't think that's very likely. Um, we have some ideas of where we would add more sets down the line if, if we were going to add more items. But community design stuff can be tricky. Not to mention that then how do we decide who gets in or not? Hangman Jarvis by Bruce Willis. Totally. So, is there any other thing you guys would like to see before we shut off for tonight? Although, it seems like we got a pretty good amount of solid spoilers for you today. Could I show you more devotion notes? I think you've seen quite a few. Is there and is there a way to have an override folder for sound and music in Grim Dawn? Easy way to change sound or music. I mean, if you don't like the music, you could just mute the music channel and play whatever music you want outside of the game. Also, you can just mod it, I guess. Do I know the Russian language? Not very well. Some words are familiar, some are not. But I'm not fluent in Russian. Show you the new playtesters. And now, entering through the back door, playtester number one. Was the mega new secret feature the loot filter? Yes, yes it was. That is the big feature we have coming in patch 1.1. .1. Are you planning on adding the percent retaliation damage to old content? Yes. Um, some old skills will be getting that mechanic. Does the DLC have a release date? Yes, it does. You want to see a cool looking shield? How about these shields? 
when is Grava finishing his Dark Souls 3 playthrough? Didn't he get through like the first mob and quit? I, I don't even know. Virtue's Ward? Are you talking about this? No, that's not it. This. Show this, show this. All these items that I think I just accidentally hovered over for you guys. Yeah, Defender of the Tree looks pretty cool, huh? It it actually got checked in just the other day, and when I saw it, I was like, nice! I love seeing the item art come online. What's new in GD 1.1? Uh, considering that we're about to finish up the stream here, you're going to have to watch through the recording, I think, to go over all that. How's the modeling weapon progress? I mean, take a look around this 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 chamber right here. You can see that a lot of items are already done. A lot more left to do. A lot of items. Last stream I said air is about 90% done. How done are they now? Um, let's see. Pretty much the only area left is the final dungeon. So I don't know what percentage I would say that is. But um, yeah, a few levels of that dungeon, two major bosses. There's going to be some balancing that has to be done, some bug fixes, but it's almost done. Expansion's almost done. Of course, you know, the last 10% is 90% of the work, but eh. <laughs> so, before you guys keep asking me for every single item that's on the screen, which I'm not going to show you, I think I'm going to call it for today, get back to work so we can get this awesome expansion out to you guys as soon as possible. I am going to put on some more Forgotten Gods music for you to listen to. Thank you all for stopping by the stream. Again, if you stop by on Monday for next Christmas adventure, we're going to be talking about that loot filter again, and maybe we'll show you some more item art as well. And uh, take care, guys. See you next time. Just a little bit.